I'm curious after that program, after you started doing consultancy work, what led to this focus on small, because it could have been very easy for you to leave that program, jump into a big institutional size, multifamily company or something like that. And you could have taken a completely different path, but tell me why you let you, you found yourself being led to this idea of small. Yeah. And actually there's a, there's a, there's a decade in between, uh, actually that happened. So I did go, I went to work for EDAW, which was the biggest landscape architecture planning firm in the world. Uh, got to do a lot of great stuff, traveled the world, opened the office in Hong Kong, did a lot of work in China, worked in San Francisco, ran that office. So, anyway, so, so there was a lot of big stuff. Uh, but mm. I, one of the opportunities it gave me was because I had this language and I felt like I had this tool chest. Um, I often was the guy that sat between the designers in the back of the office and the client and translated back and forth. And it was Interesting. something that I really enjoyed. You know, oh, wait a minute, Mr. Developer, you don't understand the value of what they're telling you. And conversely, staff, I know that's really fun to do that drawing, but it's not adding any value to the project and it's not helping them make a better decision. You got to focus in on things that are going to help them make good decisions. So, so I played that role a lot and, uh, and really enjoyed it. Um, and at the same time, got very passionate about sustainability and primarily sustainable communities. So, um, uh, you know, I had spent a good bit of the career leading or point time in my career up to then doing work with the Urban Land Institute, you know, active member, mm -hmm. great organization, because it was one of those organizations that was not necessarily an echo chamber. It was the capital markets guy and the developer who maybe wasn't very enlightened and the really good architect. And you'd sit in the room and you'd start to talk about why aren't we getting the outcomes that we want? So I felt really passionate about that. And, and they, um, there was this, you know, kind of turning point where they got in this big grant from the EPA. Uh, and they said, you know, everybody, and this was mid nineties, I think 95, they said, everybody's talking about green buildings. Nobody's talking about how those buildings get organized so that not only is it, a green, green, you know, series of green buildings. It's actually a more sustainable community. So myself, Ed McMahon, Randall Arendt got together. We put together this thing called the practice of environmentally responsible development because nobody had really used, was using the term sustainability and crafted this course around sustainable community design. And, uh, and a lot of the principles and these things that we developed then got encoded in, you know, name that, that rating system, that guideline, whatever else, but, but what came out of it for me time and again was as the industry was racing more and more towards technological solutions, I think, which were largely driven by architects and engineers to achieve something that was measurable because anything that's got a meter on it, you can measure water, energy, maybe VMT. Pe not enough people were talking about places. And so uh, I often said, you know, um, it could be as energy efficient as possible, but if it's not a place that people love, it's not going to be sustainable. And so I really got fascinated with two things, you know, what creates true places um, and what about the process gets leads to more sustainability, that sustainability, again, we have this whole thing around lead that um, when I'm being cynical says taught a whole generation of people how to fill out forms. It didn't teach mm. them to change the way they think about design and what is being built. So um, we really needed to change the process of design, the way that clients approach projects and everything else. So I really got fascinated with that kind of where do you start and how do you drive it?